Good morning, Inky World. How are you doing on this fine, 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 fine day? We are desperate to get some ink on that paper and we are going to draw something. And I had some inspiration this morning. I found this beautiful feather, look at that. Can you see that? It's like a magpie or something like that. I hope it's not a magpie because then, you know, <laughs> uh, you know how fussy I am about stuff like magpies, but it's a beautiful feather and it's given me an idea. Maybe we should draw a bird today. That'd be kind of fun. So what kind of bird are we going to do? What kind of bird? What kind of bird? We don't want to draw a magpie. We want to do something. So we are going to get some ink moving in the best way possible. We're gonna kind of dip that in and we're gonna start the TikTok speed drawing because there's lots of people there that just can't, basically, they cannot live longer than 30 seconds. So we've got to get some, some TikTok videos in there with the speed drawing of these. Oh, these are pretty quick anyway, really, you know, you think about it. That's a lovely start. Right, let's get some ink going with our trusty red nib. I like the idea of him having like a, a kind of like a big collar of sorts. And we can get in there and do some some eyes, let's get some nice, ooh. Let's get some. Oh, what's up, Nib? You don't wanna, don't wanna play today. Because these nibs are basically, um, they're just a little piece of metal. They're not, nothing kind of technical about them. Sometimes they're very, very sensitive and sometimes they just don't want to play, you know? They just don't want to to do anything. Maybe I'm just too rough with them, you know? It's like, and so I do find sometimes going through a drawing that I end up changing the nibs and, and you know, doing stuff like that. Sometimes you get halfway through a drawing and the, you feel like the nib's just exhausted and just says, change me, give me a break, man. And that's just the way things are, you know. So I'm kind of going to give him a, like a big kind of ruffles around his... Don't know why, but... Why? Because we love to make a mess, don't we? Let's get in there and do these big, big eyes. It's kind of beginning to start to look less, more like a kind of vulture or something, you know? So. And then big baggy eyes on him. Let's give him a nice big long beak. Just put a little bit of thickness on there with that beak. Let's just give it a little bit of... Don't want to make the beak look too kind of thin and wispy. I like to make it kind of nice and rough and chunky looking like he's been around a bit, you know? He's not just some kind of bird, he's like... He's been around for years and he knows what's going on. Let's give him a little bit of shading over his eyelids. That we can even copy that down onto the, the eye bags as well to kind of give him that old feeling. Let's give him a nice sneaky eyeball look. <clears throat> so, let's give him a nice big hook on the end there. Let's 
Remember these type of creatures that we draw, birds and whatever else. We just kind of, it's in Kieran's head, you know, the, 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 this, this species of bird probably doesn't exist, but that's what's beautiful about being an artist. You can just make things up and draw the bird that's in your mind, you know. Just give it a nice big highlight on the beak there. I have a, a garden in front of where I sit and just in front of me there. So you do get a lot of very, very beautiful birds coming in. It's quite a special thing to sit and watch the wildlife go past. Right, that's what's going on there with that beak. I love the noise. It's, scratchy noise that my pen makes as well. It's kind of gives me a lovely kind of feeling of life, you know. It's like a lot of this digital stuff, it's so clean and crisp and sweet and perfect and no life. <laughs> whereas, whereas these drawings have got life in them, you know, they've got mistakes in them. Mistakes? What? You can't make mistakes in the art world. Well, of course you can. It's part of the fun. That's part of the life. It's like you learn from your mistakes. If you've got these iPads and these digital ways of drawing, you're never learning anything. You learn all these things that are like, push this button, it'll do that for you. And push this button, it'll do that for you. I like to learn. I like to get experiences about how to do these things. Right, we're just giving this bird these lovely snarly teeth. We know birds don't have teeth. This bird has teeth. Kieran's bird has teeth. <laughs> and what beautiful teeth he has. Look at that. Giving these little breathe holes quite I like that look at that face that's a face of a bird that's just gonna bite your what's it off if you come too close you know that is lovely yes I like that <laughs> I like that He is not a happy bird. You look at that face. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I think the lines just under his eyes are all a little bit too, too gaps between them. I want to kind of fine it down a little bit, thin it down a little. There we are. We can darken up some of those lines under. Cool. Right, let's get on with that hair. We were talking about giving him some kind of um, collar, like a big fur collar type thing. That's nice, I like that. If any of you guys got a name what we could call this bird, put it in the comments. So I'm trying to do a um, a version of um, like some of these speed drawings, you know, it's kind of like you can watch it in full time. And if you've got time, you want to sit and have a coffee or do a drawing next to me, that's really cool. You know, you can do your drawing, I'll do my drawing. And, and I've started to do these speed versions as well. I've started to do these kind of like time lapse of the of the drawing so you can kind of get this feeling that it's, the whole thing's been done in like 10 seconds you know for those people that only have 10 seconds in their life and if you want to watch the drawing in slow natural time well it's not slow is it we're we're gonna race them through these things anyway aren't we 
Oh, that is lovely. You can imagine like a big red collar to him, like big red fluff. Mm. Let's get that. I want the feeling that he's got quite big wings. You know. Let's get a nice, nice big fold in it. Let's get a bit of brush in there. big there's too much dark there coming all across to the light lines so I put a little bit of dark in there just to balance it between and it's the same like sometimes like like there I was kind of feeling like as I look at that I feel like it would be nice as I had some more depth to it more weight to it kind of balancing off the drawing a little bit but then you put these nice big light gentle feathers on there Oh, that's nice. There's something beautiful about birds anyway, isn't there? I mean, there's just, you know, the whole kind of structure of a bird and the, the design of it. You know, he's got these little, little kind of beady eyes and he's twitching all over the place. He's got these beautiful feathers and the colors and Quite incredible creatures, really. Well, I don't really want to make him fat because that's suggesting a big fat bird. So I'm trying to think of something a little bit more, kind of bringing him in. Let's get another. We've got a big space there, so I'm thinking maybe we could bring that. That other wing out would be nice, wouldn't it? And we're just putting in all the feathers there. It's like this stretching out one wing. Again, I'm going to go in and just give it a little bit of weight there so we can actually see what what's going on otherwise sometimes sometimes with all the the, the ink and the, the kind of splatter and mess and stuff that it kind of all all gets a bit too kind of too much lines too much going on that's really nice my brain is saying that you could bring his legs down here only because i really want to draw his feet you know <laughs> Um, that's his tail coming down there. Yeah, let's get in there. Let's draw some. Let's draw some feet coming down there. He's obviously sitting down. Some nice little light feathers down there where he's got his legs coming down. Giving him nice, long, skinny feet, skinny legs. Give him that lovely, oh, look at that, loving this, loving this. We give him some nice big gnarly claws, can't we? And you know how much we love drawing gnarly claws, don't we? Just behind me, you can see a mandolin hanging up there. Just uh, keep looking up and I keep seeing it. That's one mandolin, it's an Ibanez mandolin from the 70s, lovely. Lovely, lovely thing. It's got a big carved head onto it, all these designs in it. It just needs a little fix and it will be singing like a bird. 
I like to kind of fix things up a little bit in my in my spare time and I'm not inking. I love to kind of fix up instruments and stuff like that. And attempt to play some too. I'm a big fan of mandolins and stuff like that. For those who don't know, I'm kind of obsessed with mandolins. I've been for years and years and years and years. So my obsessions go ink, paper, mandolins, Wonder Woman. So I'm quite a simple man. <laughs> I'm a very simple man. TikTok one's still going, so there's going to be a long, um, um, what you call it, um, speed it up drawing. Mr. Miro is down there running around on the floor. He can hear some dog barking in the distance. He's very easy to get excited at that dog, you know. Sees a squirrel and he goes a thousand miles an hour out the door. And he hears a dog barking in the distance and he's all excited, thinks his best mate's coming to play. That's cool. Give him some little speckly textures all over his feet and it's quite nice. That's a nice one. I'm happy with that one. I wasn't so happy with my bowl that I did earlier today, but this one I'm really, really enjoyed. A lot of ink on that drawing. Fabulous. So he's kind of like sitting down, having a rest. He's obviously a mean guy, but man, he's taking a rest. And let's get somewhere in there. Scribble down my name so you don't forget who did it. Kieran Siemens on YouTube. And if you want to see the speed it up one, sometimes go on to TikTok. TikTok kind of gives a bit more. Sometimes I do a, some personal videos there as well, just kind of talking and doing silly things with Mr. Miro. But I do really appreciate all the subscriptions. I, you know, it's like, um, if I get some kind of subscription, I usually go, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> so send me a subscription. So you'll see more of the drawings coming up as I do them, which is lovely, but it also kind of helps me because they want you to get to 10,000, uh, 1000, um, subs before you can do this and before you can do that. So boom. That's it for today. Look at that. You can almost, almost think with him in that color, you know, like, like almost like a big kind of gnarly magpie body to him with a big red collar or something like that. Yellow beak. Beautiful. I really, really enjoyed that. So thanks. Thanks for um, sticking around today. Really appreciate your help. And thanks for watching. And come back again. Come back and watch some, whatever we draw tomorrow. It's like every day we do see these drawings and we just, we don't plan them. We just kind of let loose. You know, we just kind of think, right, there's a piece of paper, there's some ink and draw. And it's a really lovely feeling. I get really excited by it because I have no idea what I'm going to do until I start. And once I start, I can't stop. And then at the end, you look at it and you go, wow, I did a drawing of a bird creature thing. And, I, <laughs> you know, and you had no idea it was coming. It's just there. Um, so I will see you again. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.